VR requires a decent PC. There is no denying that. VR can really take a toll on your PC, especially if you play games that are modded or have really high quality textures and so on. But what if I told you there is a mod to up the performance of your games? And I'm known for my Skyrim VR, but this is not just for Skyrim VR. There are many other games that can use this mod. Now, before we go any further into the video, if you liked the video at any point in time or just found it helpful, be sure to let me know by hitting that like button. And if you aren't subscribed to the channel, please do. I recently just hit 1500 subscribers and I cannot thank you all enough. And now my next goal is 2500. Also, the giveaway for the 1500 subscriber milestone will be given on the stream next week, March 26th at 12 p.m. to 4.30 p.m. CST. So, go to the live stream, stick around, and you might just win. Oh, and the prize is basically a game of your choice. If you don't know what kind of content I create, and you're interested to see more like this, I create content just like this, as well as funny moments stuff with other content creators, or just me by my lonesome. You can also find me on other platforms with a link tree down below. If you want to chat with me and my fellow souls, go to the Soul Chamber, my Discord server. Now, let's talk about the potential performance boost you might get. First, I want to talk about the predecessor of the upcoming mod that I want to tell you about, just for a moment at least. OpenVR FSR, which stands for, you know, OpenVR, the FSR stands for Fidelity FX Super Resolution. FSR modifies the OpenVR DLL with AMD's Fidelity FX Super Resolution, or NVIDIA's Image Scaling. FSR internally renders a lower resolution, which saves the GPU timing to reach a higher frame rate. It works best when the CPU is not bottlenecked. The lower resolution is upscaled to a targeted resolution by FSR while also trying to regain some lost detail. NVIDIA's version is essentially the same, yet it works slightly differently. Uh, don't confuse FSR and NIS with DLSS. They are both completely different. The successor doesn't exactly touch on the DLSS either, but let's talk about the successor to open VR FSR. Now, after stumbling around the Skyrim VR subreddit, as I do to uh, see if anything juicy pops up, because I'm always trying to uh, find something new, I stumbled upon a post that mentioned a mod called VR Performance Toolkit, or VR Perf Toolkit. From the same creator as a predecessor, yet this succeeds in many ways more than the FSR mod. For example, this supports the Oculus Quest users, and it also provides some other juicy tools which are still being worked on. So just like the original VR Performance Toolkit gives you access to AMD's Fidelity FX Super Resolution and Contrast Adaptive Sharpening, as well as NVIDIA's Image Scaling. It's all personal preference, yet it can also do some other little tidbits that may help you get that extra bit of performance, like a fix of foveated? Foveated? Foveated. I, I think that's what it is. Word on the screen. This word on the screen essentially renders out the image by decreasing as it goes towards the edges of the resolution per eye. Basically from the center is the full resolution and as it gets to the edges of the screen, essentially it gets dropped down to 1 16th of a resolution, which essentially will give you that higher FPS boost. You can also apply a variable rate shading, which is only supported with NVIDIA cards from the GTX 1600 series and RTX cards. F. Holger, the creator, plans to add more to this collection of mods, which is beyond me, honestly. But as I stated, this supports Oculus runtime and open VR, and it's a good, good little bit of performance boost on the occasion. I say that, and you'll see why later on. As for the installation, the installation is actually really simple. Once you go to the site, link in the description, as well as its predecessor, if you want to use it instead, or use both i think that works somehow uh, once you get to the github link download the latest release then extract the contents into the particular game you want the performance boost on it's a little bit different for unreal engines but in this case i'm doing a skyrim vr because that is the only issue i personally have in terms of performance uh, if you can call it an issue <laughs> once you extract those contents into that game folder you're pretty much good to go as i said i'm doing skyrim vr as I have a massive mod list and performance is needed, I suppose you could say. Uh, once it's dropped in, the default settings should be initialized already. Yet if you want to change some settings, open the vrperfkit.yml file with notepad and adjust the settings according to your needs. But I suggest going with the default settings first to see if you need to lower or raise the render scale, the sharpness, and so on. 
you are in control of that, and I have no good settings to give you. Now, the question some of you may wonder, does it work? Short answer, yes and no. Hey everyone, Paul Soul here. I'm cutting in here because my original plans to show you the differences didn't exactly pan out the way I wanted it to go. Um, I was trying to record it and I didn't record the screen somehow and I'm on a time crunch to get this video to you. So let me just tell you the specifics of what I have found. Yes, I did get a performance boost. It was roughly 10 to 20 frames a second increase. Um, although the clarity of the image decreased of which you can't see in a recording anyway, but for example, if I looked at the bridges near the edge of Whiterun, uh, hold the little, the, the town of Whiterun, you know, going to Riverwood or going, uh, where, what is it, Windhelm towards that direction, uh, they would be as smooth as butter and look natural to the human eye. And by the way, this is with Glamour Reshade, uh, yet with the VR Performance Toolkit, the clarity became jagged. And at least for my specifications, I still got some jitters, but that doesn't mean it won't be beneficial to you. Uh, you can obviously play with these settings for yourself in the VR performance or VR perf kit.yml file to you change the settings to your computer. Every computer is different. So you may have a better computer than me. You may have a worse computer than me. You can adjust the jaggedness if you have the jaggedness and you want to fix that jaggedness. You can change the sharpness. You could change the program, I guess you, you could call it, that you want to use. For example, I used the default settings for a while and it was the AMD settings, the AMD uh, SFX um, super resolution or FSR uh, settings because it still works with the NVIDIA card. So that's defaulted and sharpness and everything was all the same. And I still got that boost. But as I said, jagged, and I changed some some of it uh, later on, and I did get some clarity back. But uh, again, play with the settings for your computer to get those satisfactory results. I've honestly been using this for quite a while because it genuinely just helped. Uh, the clarity issue is kind of disheartening, yet it's something I can ignore just to get the performance boost. And I said no because the performance is minimal, and it is only beneficial if you don't have a consistent CPU issue. Um, but this also is conditional, obviously. Uh, before I get comments on my specs here, they are, I have an i9 9900K at 3.6 gigahertz, a NVIDIA RTX 2080 Ti, and a 32 gigabyte of RAM. And the headset is clocked at 90 hertz refresh rate. So you may get a better performance boost compared to myself as my model is bigger, yours may be smaller, and hell, maybe your PC is better, as I said, or you know, worse, we all differ. So this may help you, this may not, and I hope it helps you. So that's why this video exists. Uh, that's it for post soul. Back to uh, pre, pre soul, pre, that sounds weird. Bye. Let me know, I'm curious to know what you guys think, or if you've tried it before, let me know your results. I'm curious to know, maybe we have the same issues, specifications, I am not sure. But I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you use it, I hope you get the performance you need whether you're using the predecessor or the successor. All the mods are in the description as per usual. You can follow my socials via the link tree. It includes my Twitter, TikTok, and Patreon. And speaking of my Patreon, I want to take a small portion of the video to thank my patrons. They gained a special role in my Discord that indicates them being the first patrons, which is limited to 10, and three of them are taken. So if you want them, there you go. And you can also get this with the YouTube memberships. But I also want to say that I want you to think of this as a tip jar with a little bit of extra benefits. And don't forget to join the Discord server if you want to be up to date with my content or to just chat it up with me, my fellow souls. And hey, you'll be the first to know if another giveaway or something is going to occur or something. I always, I'm always on my Discord. So if you want to get faster response times for me, if you're commenting on a video, you can check that out instead. Or if you comment it on it, that's all better. It's okay with me too. It helps me fight the YouTube algorithm. And speaking of the YouTube algorithm, Again, if you found this video helpful, be sure to like the video because it helps me fight that algorithm. It helps me get out there and gives you more exposure on the platform. And if you're interested in other VR content as well as other hilarity, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to get notified of those future videos. And one last thing is to keep your soul free. <laughs>